News at 5 o'clock. Now to breaking news in an election fraud trial. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. The trial for former mayor of Eatonville, Anthony Grant, started several days ago. He's accused, along with two others, of coercing voters and forcing them to send in absentee ballots, effectively stealing the 2015 mayoral election. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis joins us now live outside the Orange County Courthouse. And Nadine, uh, the case is now in the hands of the jury. That's right. Actually, all the way up on the 23rd floor here at the Orange County Courthouse, six jurors are in a tiny room right now deliberating whether or not Anthony Grant stole his mayoral seat back in 2015. Until that verdict comes down, I'm going to take you to closing arguments this morning and explain how Pop-Tarts played such a pivotal role in both the prosecution and defense's arguments today. Prosecutors putting up Pop-Tarts in front of the jury is how closing arguments started this morning. State Attorney Rick Walsh using the pastries to point out why he believes former Eatonville Mayor Anthony Grant and his two campaign workers coerced voters and forced them to send in absentee ballots, effectively stealing the 2015 election. It's common sense to look at something that says it's Pop-Tarts, looks like it's containing Pop-Tarts, and come to the conclusion that it's probably Pop-Tarts. It looks to be a ballot. It is common sense that when Anthony Grant was holding this object, he was holding a ballot. But Grant's defense attorney popped up with an analogy of his own. Now I'm going to talk about Pop-Tarts. Using the Pop-Tarts to show that Grant's fingerprints on a ballot envelope doesn't prove that he had anything to do with the ballot inside. If it becomes a crime to poison a Pop-Tart, it doesn't make any difference if the packaging has poison on it or not. The crime is the poison in the Pop-Tart, not on the packaging. There is no evidence in this case that any of the defendants touched any official ballots. So even though Pop-Tarts paid a role in this, making it a little lighthearted today, this is still a very serious case. The jury broke for deliberation just before 1 o'clock. Here we are three hours later. We're still waiting on their verdict. It may take some time, though. Like I mentioned, Grant is also on trial with two co-defendants, his two former uh, campaign workers. So they have to sift through 10 charges total. And the moment that verdict comes down, we will be here. I also have a live report at 5 o'clock. Ladies, back to you. All right, Nadine Giannis reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.